Welcome to the Deep Dive. So this week we're looking at something pretty dramatic unfolding across Europe. Uh, yeah, it's a continent literally split in two. Completely. In the north, you have this sudden, brutal deep freeze setting in. While the south is facing, and this is no exaggeration, catastrophic flooding. And these two things aren't a coincidence, are they? Not at all. It's a textbook example of what we call a continental scale dipole pattern. Both extremes, the cold and the rain, are mechanically linked by one single dominant feature. A massive atmospheric block. Exactly. So our mission today is to find that core engine, that that wall in the atmosphere and unpack what it means for people on the ground. Okay, let's dive in. Where is this wall and what makes it so powerful? It's a huge, what we call quasi-stationary blocking high and it's parked right over Greenland. Over Greenland, right. And we see it at the 500 hectopascal level. Yes, that's the steering level of the atmosphere. Yeah. It's the layer that dictates the major weather patterns and right now it's just stuck. It's refusing to move. So it's like a traffic jam in the sky. The Atlantic jet stream, which usually brings mild air across Europe. It just hits this wall and has nowhere to go. So instead of that normal, you know, west to east flow. It's forced to go around it. It buckles massively. It's forced into this deep north to south or meridional pattern. Which is a classic signature for a negative north Atlantic oscillation, the NAO. A textbook negative NAO. But what causes a block this strong to just form and sit there, it feels unusual. It is. And what's really interesting here is that this is a top-down event. Right. The cause isn't at the surface. It's coming from above. Way above. This block is basically the fallout from an unusually early sudden stratospheric warming, or SSW. Oh, okay. That event disrupted the polar vortex high up in the stratosphere, and that disruption has now propagated all the way down, creating this immovable object in our weather. The stratosphere is literally dictating the weather for millions of people. Okay, so now we have the mechanism. Let's talk consequences. That meridional flow is like a pipeline, right? It's a direct pipeline for Arctic air. It's just advecting it straight south into Western and Central Europe. And this is such a shock to the system, especially coming right after one of the warmest Octobers on record. The temperature drop is astounding. We're talking a nearly 20 degrees Celsius change in just a couple of days in some places. 20 degrees, wow. And how low are the forecasts? We're looking at minimums dipping to minus seven Celsius across the UK and Ireland. And the really dangerous part is that this isn't just cold. It's a compound hazard. Yes, the cold on flood event. This freeze is arriving right after storm Claudia brought severe flooding. Think of the river Mono in Wales hitting record levels. So all that saturated ground and standing water is now freezing solid. Creating widespread dangerous ice. A huge hazard. So I suppose if you're running a ski resort in the Alps, this is the news you've been waiting for. Oh, absolutely. This flips the switch on the ski season. The snow level is plummeting, and with valley temperatures below minus 10, they can run the snow cannons at full blast. Okay, so that's the cold pole. Now let's go to the other extreme, the Mediterranean deluge. The dark side of the same coin. The Greenland block traps a deep trough, a low pressure system over the Mediterranean, and again, it can't move. So it's feeding all that rain. It's pulling in vast amounts of moisture from the Mediterranean Sea. Which is much warmer than average right now. Anomalously warm. Anywhere from 1.5 to 3 degrees Celsius above normal. That warmth is pure fuel for the system. And that creates this dangerous cul-de-sac effect, you called it. Right. The cyclone has nowhere to go, so it just keeps pulling in that moisture and dumping it on the same areas, forcing it up against mountains like the Apennines in Italy and even more so the Dinaric Alps. And this is where the forecast gets really serious. This is where it gets, well, frankly, terrifying. The forecast for parts of Montenegro and northern Albania. Okay. We're looking at local rainfall totals from this multi-day event of more than 700 millimeters. Wait, 700 millimeters? What? That's an astonishing amount of water. It's a catastrophic amount. It confirms a very high risk of life-threatening floods and widespread landslides across the southwestern Balkans. So just to recap for everyone, we have minus seven degree frosts in Scotland and 700 millimeters of rain in Albania. And they are physically connected by the very same mechanism, miles up in the atmosphere. The Greenland block. It's a perfect, if brutal, validation of synoptic theory. One block driving a cold outbreak on one side and rerouting a storm track to cause extreme rain on the other. So here's a final thought for you to mull over. We have this incredibly high impact weather event that is completely overriding the long-term seasonal climate forecast, which was for a warmer than average winter. Mm. What's it mean for our ability to make regional forecasts 
when these rare, powerful, top-down events from the stratosphere can just show up and rewrite the entire script. Something to think about. Thanks for diving in with us.